Oops, did I move the lens where we couldn't see the broth of the day? Oh, wait. Hello again, this is the Dillery's, and we're doing Chris's homeschool project. project. And we are going to do extracting DNA from peas so that you can see what DNA looks like on a macroscopic slaw. Scale, scale. Slaw. Slaw. I didn't so, know what you call slaw. First, we need to dissolve 1 4 teaspoon salt in the one cup of water. So here's a cup of water. Let's pour. Let's get a cup of water. I'll get a cup of water and then you can dissolve the things in it. I got salt. Okay, so, oops, made a big mess. So, we have one cup of water. Yes, I spilled some on the table. Let me get this stuff out of this way so you guys can see. Okay, one cup of water. Okay, put the salt in. And then... Oh, we need something to mix it around. Be right back. We didn't have all our stuff. We didn't look through properly. Oh no, the project has failed. Yeah, this is a failure. Okay. So, oh wait, it's your experiment, darn it. <laughs> Try to steal all the fun. <laughs> so if we explode this, we have to have to stop the video. Salt water. Okay, so well, there we have is a cup of salt water. So, place the peas and salt water into the blender and blend for 20 seconds. So we need one half cup of split peas and then the salt water mixture. So go ahead and measure out one and a half. And here, you might want to cut that before the peas go all everywhere. Because we'll probably rather eat the rest for dinner. <laughs> After seeing what your DNA looks like. Yeah, you maybe not, huh? Okay. So, we open up the blender. Here's the blender. We can't well, we can push that a little bit closer to you, but not too much because the cord is so short. Okay. They don't expect you to do experiments. So with this it. is a blender and a food processor all in one. So go ahead and put those in there. Oh, some yellow ones are in there and some grayish ones. That's okay. Still, just... we gotta pick them all out. Mm. Okay, now mm. pour a cup of salt water in there. So, and we have to blend for 20 seconds, so it's 20. 19, 18. Are you counting already? <laughs> silly. Okay, so, does it say chop or mix? Blend. <laughs> um, mix. You don't want to splice or shred, that's for the other things. Okay. Yeah, we're purees this mix. Yeah, well, mix is the blender thing. It's just 20 seconds, so 20 minutes. Just hold it down. Hold it down. Yeah. Consistency of thin pea soup. So this looks like pea soup. Yeah. <laughs> the solution you have a mixture. The solution you have is a mixture of water, salt, and pea cells. 
Hold the strainer over the small glass and slowly pour the contents of the blender into the strainer, allowing the liquid to drip into the small glass. So, okay, so I'll hold this and you can pour it. What a mess. Go slowly because it takes a while to go through this, the thing. Mmm. <laughs> I think most of it's separating out already. Yeah. So we'll get the pea juice in there. Nice and green. Maybe we should drink it. Hulk juice. Yeah. It actually kind of smells good, doesn't it? Yeah. It has a fresh smell. Okay, I think that's about it, right? The rest is just peas. Give peas a chance. Okay, let's make sure it all drained through. There's a whole bunch of peas in here. Okay, so. Okay, so this is what we have right now. Should we drink it? No. Oh, it smells like avocado. Actually, maybe not. It smells like fresh plants. It smells really good, actually. It smells, it smells like my bean plants. It smells, ah. it smells like spring. Okay. I grow beans in my bedroom. Add two tablespoons of the soap. So where's the soap? Add two tablespoons of the soap to it. Oh, it's sealed. And so they tell us to use clear soap. So it has to be either clear hand wash soap or clear um, dish soap. So we got clear dish soap. Ow! I broke my Whoops. nail a little bit. Leave it to Chris to injure something. It was my nail. See how it's dented in? <laughs> Ow, my nails are already short, so... Okay. It wouldn't be a problem if they were longer. It's bleeding under the nail. Uh-oh, injury already! So, how much of this is it again? It says... Two tablespoons of the soap. I got my tablespoon. Ow, my nail hurts. Oh. Oops. Oops, you spilled a little bit extra in there. Did you hear that? Yes, it's... Okay, you're soaping the pea juice. Okay, slowly... Let me show it for them first. Then we gotta slowly, gently mix it together. So get the spoon and slowly swirl it. And then we gotta let it sit for 10 minutes, so I'll turn off the camera while that's going on. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, there's the slimy stuff. We're gonna have to pick out some of it on the. It's gonna connect to the DNA, and we're gonna have to pick some of it out. Okay, put it on there. So my spoon's covered in DNA. So then we have to let it sit for ten minutes. So we're gonna turn the camera off and come back in ten minutes and finish the experiment. Thank you for watching so far. Keep up with us. Okay, so we're back, and let's see, the next step, we let it sit for 10 hours, I mean 10 minutes. Okay. We're on step six now. Okay, add one fourth teaspoon of meat tenderized and mix again very gently. that destroy proteins. This is what tenderizes meat. In this experiment, the meat tenderizer will destroy that, the proteins that coat the DNA, exposing the strands of DNA. We should get a little bit dirty near the bottom too though. There we 
very gently see him kill him. Okay. So slowly add as much alcohol as you have liquid. So it'll be about a cup of alcohol. Will it all fit in there without overflowing? If not, we'll just pour it till it gets towards the top. Oops. So we have rubbing you alcohol. Stepped on my foot. And um, please do not smell it because it's not good for you to sniff it. <laughs> And do it and you pour it. Actually, you don't have to pour it in a cup. Just pour it in air until it reaches near the top. Right? Or do you want to do it in the measuring cup and make it right? Okay, go ahead. Because then you have to slowly pour it into there. So, go ahead. Okay. That was about as much water as you had. Okay. Oh, shoot. I'm not wearing a mask. I'm wearing my shirt. <laughs> okay. Pour it in. Yep. Just pour it in slowly, but do not mix. Oh shoot, it got on my fingers. Okay. This cup's too big. Yeah, we should have got one with the edges where you can pour. Okay, so you should see the layer. You can see it, see the layer of alcohol on the top as you're going. There's a pool of it forming below the cup. Yep. Okay. So it says. Do not stir. You want the alcohol to sit on top of the liquid. Wait for a few minutes and you can see white strands appear in the layer of alcohol. You can already see it happening, you know. To aid in your seeing the strand, shine the flashlight down at the oh, surface of the, the solution. Flashlight. I'll get it. And look at the solution from the side of the glass. The strands are the, the strand, these strands are the P, P DNA. So. Ooh. P DNA. <laughs> Bruce DNA now. Okay, so we got a flashlight. Let's see. Let's try to move it a little bit over. Should I clean up this mess? Just move. We'll do it after the experiment. Okay. We still got a few more things to do. So do you see the little strands forming? Ooh, that's strong. You see a little... I see a ghost face now. See those little fatty things? That's the DNA. Eww. That's the proteins. And then there's some see the ones on the bottom of the alcohol. <laughs> that's it extracting the DNA. Ooh, look how weird from the top, too. Look at that. It's so strong, you can smell it through my shirt. Okay. Okay, so I don't know if you guys will be able to see this, but... It's mixing. It's shaking. Be very careful about it. Mine's the product by showing it to everyone. Yeah. Okay. Depending on your experiment technique, the, stand, the strands might be long enough for you to twist it onto a toothpick. So let's see if we can get some like strands on the top or on the bottom around a toothpick. We're going to touch it. There's probably like a thing you have to take off, or maybe not. Or, uh, it's already open. Oh, okay. Just take it to pick out. So you can see the fatty stuff to wrap around it. I got one piece. Ew. Okay. I don't know if they'll be able to see that, but let's see. This is some of the DNA. Let's drop my DNA. 
This is Chris's DNA. Why are you picking in my experiment? What happened? Oh, that's the DNA. Okay, try to get some more DNA on it around it. Oops, I'm picking Chris's experiment. Because it's just fun. Uh... There you go. Remember Adrian, you like to do you like to help with Adrian's experiments. This whole blob of DNA. Look at right that, there. that's DNA from the peas. So now we gotta taste it and drink no. the water. Just kidding, do not do this. And ah, you put the toothpick into it. That's okay, we have to throw it away anyways. <gasps> okay, clean up your mess. So we'll be cleaning up the mess. And then it says, now you know what the strands of DNA look like on a macroscopic scale. If all the DNA from a single human cell were extracted in this way, you would have about two yards of strands. Okay, so that's it for our experiment today. So here's another look. And I will get the toothpick out with the tweezers. Oh, you still want to play with it? You did? Too late now. <laughs> get another toothpick. Well, you already shook it up. Oh, well, get another toothpick you can play with it. Darn viewers, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Shoot. I'm look, sorry, look. guys. Ew, you put it on your hand. Look, it's on my hand. Why'd you put it on your it hand? It spilled when I was moving the thing. Well, why'd you move it? I don't, I don't know. To show the people of the United States of America. And the other places they're watching. Yeah. Now make sure you, if you're under 18, you'll be doing this with the uh, parent. <laughs> oh, gosh, that's a really long one. And please do not drink the liquid. Oh, wow. <laughs> this also can be done at school by teachers. I mean, with teachers. Whoa, that huge uh, glob! Almost looks like boogies. <laughs> Okay, I'm done. Okay, so that that is our experiment. And the experiment name I already said once, but we're going to say it again, is DNA extraction. So we took the DNA from split green peas. And okay. a few other ones. So, if you liked our video, and would like to, or would like to try it, please give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to us, because we plan to do more of these experiments. Bye! Bye. Because they trap corn and she don't DNA. <laughs> DNA.